All right guys, welcome to Hollywood Mechanic. I'm Micah here and today we're gonna to be talking about transmission services and uh, sealed for life. All right, so servicing your car, obviously the oil is something that everyone talks about. You gotta do it often and there's other fluids in the car and guess what those are mostly oils as well just like your engine oil so transmission oil differential oil they also need to be serviced the, the fluid has a life and so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to tell if you need to have that done back in the old day your dad would just you know pull the dipstick on the transmission and then check the fluid color and then start the car run it check the level and call it a day. But today's transmissions, it's a little bit more tricky. Uh, most engine bays you pop the hood of, you won't see a dipstick or a dipstick tube for a transmission. As a matter of fact, some transmissions, you won't even see a fill hole to check the level from. It's filled from the drain hole. So it's, it's not the same as it used to be. Uh, it gets even more complex. So let's talk about first what's in a transmission and let you decide you know, if, if you think a fluid could last for the life of a car. All right, so right here we have a transmission from a Range Rover Evoque. This transmission also goes into some Volvos and, and uh, Fords, and you can see the Land Rover logo there. But if you look carefully, you can see the Ford logo right there. And it's made by Asen, and this one has failed. And the, and it, and it, the car only had about 60,000 miles, and it is seven years old, but it has failed. And um, I wanna show you something here. This is the internals of the transmission, and this was happened only after the transmission was removed from the car and the transmission was split apart. Um, this is the engine here. And in order to get all this out, we had to drop the subframe of the car. It takes a lot of labor. So obviously, you don't wanna have to do this if you can avoid it. What's the best way to avoid that? Well, probably maintaining a healthy condition for operation. So what's inside the transmission? Well, obviously we have gears here. That's what you would expect. But inside here, this is the main pump. Uh, back behind there, we have friction plates. So what do they look like? Look like this. But this is the used one, the old one there. And you can see it's, it's wearing a little groove there uh, around. And uh, that causes particulate matter to come out of, the, of these. Just like a brake pad, you know? Like if you had a brake pad and you brake a lot, what happens to your rims? They get dirty with brake dust. So the same thing happens inside the transmission. Okay, the next thing that's in a transmission is the valve body. Now we've got a valve body here. I wanted to clean and prepare the one that I'm putting back in the car and show you what a brand new clean looking one is. But this is the old one. As you can see, this fluid is just really black. And if you look in there, you can see deposits as well as these solenoids here, you can see the metal, uh, this is, th that is metal that is in a very fine powder uh, as a result of these friction plates. This is extremely precise area where these motions are controlled by these solenoids being able to send fluid down different pathways and interact with different check valves and different plungers. Now, they are machined to very finely fit into the holes that they are designed to go in, and they need to maintain a nice smooth finish. Otherwise, it causes uh, friction, and then will stop it from being able to be used. <coughs> As you can see on this one, there's a little bit of material there, and if that material were to get in there, it could jam one of these closed, causing it not to work. Now, what do you think is gonna do that? That's the metal that you have inside the transmission uh, from those friction plates, not picked up by the filter, getting stuck in there. And this is extremely, extremely common. All right, so how do we get that, that dust out of the transmission? Well, what we do is we get it carried away by the fluid and picked up by this filter. Now in this uh, transmission unit right here, this front pump has the filter, as you can see in their filter element bolted directly to it and you have to separate the front half from the back half 
to get this, which means you have to remove it from the car. This filter is not serviceable. It's considered a filter for life. But if you look at this, look at the color of the fluid that comes out of there. It's pretty black. So, I mean, to me, that's a huge fail. Why are you making a transmission filter where you cannot access it? But the fact that it does have a filter, let me, let's talk about that for a second. Do you know any filter that lasts forever or lasts for 20 years? Because I don't. All the filters in your car have a service lifetime and the transmission is no exception. The transmission oil gets extremely hot and again, a lot of metal is being burnt off and spun around in that fluid and it needs to be picked up and collected by a filter element. So making it so difficult to get to, to me, is just like, you know your customer is not gonna have the car very long, so you don't care about the second hand. You're not building a quality product there in my mind. So the last thing we're gonna talk about with the transmission is the fluid, right? That's the last major component that we're talking about in this transmission. And that is what it uses to cool, remove heat from those friction plates. It uses, it's used to operate those, the pressure going on those friction plates by operating the, con the control solenoids and those pathways. So obviously the fluid needs to be tip top. And the way that it does some of what it does is it acts as a detergent and a removal source for those buildups and deposits. But again, as fluids get older, they will no longer do their job. Mobile One states that their fluids unopened on the shelf only have a life of five years. And once they're being used in the transmission, they're subjected to a lot of pressure and temperature and material. And that is what is what causes a fluid to need to be changed. So do you think a fluid or a transmission can be sealed for life and fluid can be sealed for life? What's more likely is sealed for life means the transmission fluid is good until the warranty ends. And at that point, BMW, whoever doesn't care about the car anymore, they're no longer responsible. I would really not suggest you do this yourself unless you have a certain list of tools which we'll go over and are very handy mechanically. Uh, I'm not saying that just to get your business. This can be very difficult and you can damage your transmission if you don't, do not fill it properly. So. If you decide to do it yourself, things you should have is a fluid transfer pump, which you can get online, but get one that can flow pretty quickly and be prepared for a mess. Get some absorbent pads and some, or some oil absorbent because you're gonna be dripping. Put down plastic before you do it. The other thing you're gonna need is um, some way to get the car level and be up under it. So if you have a pit in the ground that you can pull over, great, but most people don't. If you have a lift, that's even better. If you're trying to put the car up on four jack stands, it's really risky. I've done it before. I would just highly recommend you don't do that. Even the jack stands say not to do that. But um, you need to have the car level to get the proper level of transmission fluid. You're also going to have to have a thermal gun. A lot of these transmission fluids or service fill procedures require the fluid to be at a specific temperature. It takes up more volume when it's hot. So you have to get the temperature of the transmission fluid around where it will be normally operated to set the level. And again, around because some transmission fill procedures require you to have it at like 40 degrees uh, Celsius, which the transmission will run much hotter than that uh, when you're driving it normally. So in those cases, if you go over the temperature, you gotta like plug it, let the car sit for a while till it cools down and start the procedure over again. So again, very difficult. And I would highly recommend you buy the repair or workshop manual for your vehicle before you do this. All right, so knowing all of this, you might wanna know what I think about transmission service life. Well, here's what I think. I think a transmission fluid can probably last three years with as far as heat cycles before it goes bad. That's just the time. Um, as far as miles go, that's gonna depend on how you drive it. Toyota has a sealed for life differential in the Tacoma, but if you're towing things, they recommend you change it at 15,000 miles. So again, if you're hard on your car, if you're driving it hard, if you're driving, if you're doing launches and pulls, uh, just know you're gonna have more metal buildup in the transmission. You're gonna have more heat that the fluid has to deal with in the transmission. So you're gonna have to increase your 
uh, intervals, but I would probably recommend 30, no more than 30,000 miles doing your transmission fluid service. And honestly, if you're gonna be just doing a drain and fill each time, you should probably do that every 15,000 miles. There's a lot more fluid in the transmission than you're gonna get out just by draining it and filling it, the torque converter, the cooler, the, the valve body, they all hold fluid. So if you wanna do it just by draining it and filling it, you should do it really every 15,000 miles. And that way you can ensure that you have pretty clean fluid and then do your filter at 50,000 miles, let's say. Um, if you've got a car like this that requires the whole engine out, then that's even more important for you to be doing these drain and fills every 10,000 miles, maybe 15,000 miles at the maximum because that, if that filter becomes inundated with medium, like metal, then you have to remove the transmission to get it out, and it's just a big risk. All right, so hopefully this has been information that you can use uh, that will help you out. I definitely want you to get the most out of your car, and again, this, this information goes for automatic transmissions, even DCTs, um, or manual transmissions, although, uh, ones with limited slip have this similar metal buildup. Ones without uh, limited slip and just gears uh, typically are going to do a lot better as far as like having no material deposited into the fluid because there's no friction plates burning up. Um, but each transmission is a little bit different. But again, service your trans, get the best sound of your car.